probability. And now on History of Maths... It's time to conjure the Roman god Jupiter! Wah! I, Jupiter, lord of all gods, goddesses, men, women, dogs, cats, horses... Skip to the end! ...and other things demand to know why I am here. We were just wondering what you knew about randomness. Nothing is random. All events are the will of a supernatural being. Like, if you fall over, that's not random. That's me being a bit annoyed at you. And if you and your whole town die horribly in an accident with a volcano, then that's because I'm really especially peeved. Kind of like how I'm feeling right now. Thanks. That's what I thought. You can go now. How dare you, a mere mortal, with your... Now, explain. What was that in aid of? I just wanted to establish that the mathematical idea of randomness and probability are relatively new concepts. In ancient times, people didn't believe in chance. Everything was the work of the gods. They also believed you could divine the future by using lucky charms or rolling dice. And you're descended from these people, right? Aye. The first dice were made of bones. The astragalus is a bone found in the heel of hoofed animals. Instead of numbers, each side is a different shape. And from divination, Dice went on to be used for board games, games of chance, and gambling. Divinant I don't get, but games of chance I do. That's like probability. Sounds more like maths. But mathematicians were thought of as magicians, and treated with a lot of suspicion, right into the 16th century. The church in Europe didn't like all this dice rolling stuff, so for a while it went underground. And now, a reconstruction of events that did not happen, but which give a general indication of what was going on. Ha <laughs> ha! Stop what you are doing, magic man! Oh! We are the Divination Inquisition of Church Executionists! Hey, boss, have you ever noticed the acronym for our group is DICE? Babel! Ah! It is our solemn duty to slaughter anyone practicing magic or running a casino. But I'm a simple mathematician! Ha <laughs> ha! Condemned by your own nasty lips! No, I'm just interested in the sciencey chance and randomness. There's nothing magical about it. If that is true, then why don't you have this evil dice? Ha-ha! <laughs> you are a wizard of iniquity. Or maybe just running an illegal dice joint. No, I'm just working on probability. Look, if I throw three dice, there are 216 different ways that the dice can fall. Is that, you know? What were the chances? Fiend! <laughs> Please, listen. There is only one combination that will give me a totally three. That's by getting three ones on each dice. It's the same for getting a total of 18. I would have to throw three sixes. So the probability of this happening is only a 1 in 216 chance. Boss, you have to admit, when it comes to logic, this guy's a sure bet. Beast! It's not magic. Look, what is the chance of throwing a total of 10? I might throw a 6 on one die, a 3 on another, and a 1 on the last. But there are other combinations. I get it. Like a five, a three, two... Heresy! <laughs> Altogether, there are 27 different ways to get a total of 10. So that's a 27 and 216 chance. Which is the same as one eighth. A much higher chance than getting a three. Amazing! Witchcraft! How? Enough of this evil naughtiness. The time has come for you to be executed. Please, is there nothing I can do to save myself? No! Your number's up, your chips are down, and the die is cast! Hang on! Oh, what am I saying? Ah! Well, that was lucky. Fancy a bet? Heads or tails? Uh, heads and tails. Eh, uh, you can't have both. The probability is the same. Why would I pick heads when it's just as likely to be tails? Actually, that's a good point. And it reminds me of... The Law of Large Numbers. Are you worried about the future of your coin flipping? Are you anxious about how many heads or tails you might get? Then worry no more. We at Bernoulli Insurance have worked out the long-term stability of random variables. Yes, the more times you flip a coin, the proportion of heads you get becomes closer to the probability of getting heads. Yeah, we all know the probability of getting a heads is a one in two chance. But with today's busy lives, you might only have time to flip a coin five times. Such a small number of flips can give unwanted results. You might just get four heads and a tail. Nothing like a one in two chance. But don't worry, we here at Benui 
have imagined flipping your coin for an infinite time and discovered the proportion of heads approaches one in every two throws. The same as probability. Send us all your gold pieces now and we'll flip them for you right into our Swiss bank accounts. Coins may go up as well as down. Any customers saying coins might land on their side are just being know-it-alls.